All right, so uh, let's talk real quick here about the embouchure and whether or not you want to connect the upper register to the lower register or the lower register to the upper register. Life is a mystery. All right, so basically the short answer, in my opinion, is that you want to do both, okay? So the thing here is that when people talk about connecting the upper register to the lower register, it's usually because they have some kind of a uh, double embouchure. So they've got like an embouchure that they can play a low C on, and then they have this more efficient upper register feel. Usually it's like a lot of people talk about connecting the G on top of the staff, letting that kind of be home base. And then connecting everything to that feel. Weep. And that's cool. And that's a good way to get to where you can, like, say, for example, play some lead trumpet charts, switch over to the third trumpet book for a tune or two, come back to the lead chart, and you're not going to get too screwed up because everything's coming from that same place, that same sort of efficient, directed, focused energy. All right, so that is all good, connecting the upper register to the lower register. Great thing to practice. Also, I think you want to be practicing connecting the lower register to the upper register. When I went through my embouchure change, essentially what I did was I took the embouchure that I could play my best sound on a low C and a G in the staff, and I decided to develop it from there. This helped me out hugely because in that range, in that embouchure, like I said, that was my best sound. It was the easiest for me to articulate there. I had the most control, like I could bend the pitches. I had the most kind of meat going on here with the mouthpiece, and it was easy for me to control the sound. However, it did take a couple of years of kind of slowly and systematically building up to where I could play the high G on essentially the same set. There, you know, if I play high G right now, I play low C, high G, you know, there's gonna be some slight little things that change, but pretty much I'm thinking about everything in the same exact way. So I'm setting the horn on my chops in the same way. So what you can do here, say you're working on connecting the upper register to the lower register, and you have something that you're doing for that. Like I just played the two octave mid arpeggio. Easy, simple enough. You could start on a G, you do two octave arpeggio starting on G. When that feels comfortable, then you just go right on up to the A flat. So on and so forth, up chromatically until you're getting, say, to the high C. And then you've got high C connected to low C. And beyond. And then maybe once you get higher than that, you can start connecting even lower. Um, how would that work? So when you get up to like high F sharp, then you can start to try to connect it three octaves to the low F sharp. So that's one thing. So you can work on that, say, every day for two months, three months, six months, however long, until it starts to feel comfortable. Then you can work on the other one, connecting the low range to the high range. So the same deal. So starting on the uh, low C, and you can just do arpeggios or lip slurs, anything. <laughs> So the same concept applies. You can do that every day for a month, two months, six months, eight months, whatever, until that starts to feel normal. Another way you can do it is you could have a progressive range routine where the purpose of the range routine is not to push the highs as high as you can, but to connect more of your playing range on a single setting. So you could do like an A day and a B day. A day is you start high and you go low. B day, you start low, you go high. Okay, so this concept of connecting the high range to the low range and the low range to the high range, whew, abstract that out, big picture, what are we getting at here? We're saying do both. Practice slow and fast, high and low, soft and loud, soft going to loud, loud going to soft. You can think of all the trumpet skills, many of the trumpet skills, 
on a continuum, right? One thing is pushing this way, the other thing is pushing this way. And the farther you push those boundaries in both directions, the more middle ground you're gonna have to work with. I think the easier it's gonna be for you to play, the more fun it's gonna be for you to play, because you're gonna be playing the way you want, you're gonna be getting better, and that's all good, okay? So I hope that helped some of you guys, especially if you're confused about that. What do I do, what do I do? Everybody's telling me to do different things. Well, do it all, do it all. Or at least do what you can do, all right? Do your best. Because your best is good enough. Talk to you soon. Talk to you later.